Uh, this video tutorial is aimed to show you just an overview of the SANS calc uh, calculator. Um, at this stage we are just calculating the fenestrations um, and uh, that's based on s the SANS documents uh, 204 and uh, 10400 XA. Um, Alright, so at this stage um, I've got a building on the left here. Uh, it's got two stories and um, it's a uh, database file based so you could open a, a different uh, project and you could also save this and you can also save it as um, as, as a second copy basically um, right um, so at this stage the, this is the uh, the two stories on each story um, I actually have a couple of rooms that's the internal space a usable area and um, <coughs> What uh, what you then do is you you add a length, a width, and the area, and the solar heat gain and conductance get uh, calculated uh, based on the area and the zone. Right here you can uh, select the zone or select it from a map. I'll, in the next movies I'll show you how to actually go through and uh, create and edit. Right at this stage I'm just going to briefly go look at the overview. Right, so once you've got the rooms of that story, you can go to the, the windows of them uh, and uh, add an identification mark. You typically work from left to right. Um, add a height of this uh, fenestration element, the width or the area. Uh, if it has been shaded 80% um, of the, um, the time or 100% of the time, um, then Add the G value. The G value is basically the the distance from the top of the fenestration element to the underside of the um, overhang. The P value is basically the horizontal distance uh, of the overhang. And then uh, those two values you add um, under the the H then gets calculated based on um, the the G value and the height of your fenestration element. And then the pH is P uh, value over H. Right. If um, if G exceeds 0 0.5, the pH uh, gets halved automatically. All right. Then uh, the glazing uh, construction of this uh, fenestration element, uh, either the glazing or the frame type, um, we also cater for uh, custom values. Um, so if you set it to custom here, you uh, you can add custom values. Otherwise, it uh, just goes from the table that uh, was provided by Sands. Right. These uh, Solar exposure then uh, gets calculated as well as, well, at this stage just the um, the natural ventilation, the solar heat gain and the um, conductance. Right, we also calculate um, the mechanical uh, solar uh, energy value or just the, the aggregate energy value um, which is then um, based on the facade and the facade area. Right, so if you want to do the mechanical um, tests and ventilation uh, tests, you need to um, add a facade areas, right, and then link your windows to the facade areas, right. To the facade area, you obviously mark them, give them a name, um, add the story height, um, or uh, and then the length of the the external facade, right. That gives the area and uh, allowable energy um, aggregate energy calculation right um, the windows then gets linked to the uh, uh, facade area with the tools at the top here um, and then uh, so you would also add uh, the glazed doors if you have any and then also curtain walls if you have any right um, once you've added all the fenestration elements um, you basically can save the, the project and then go over to the reporting. In the reporting uh, you select your project. Um, if you want the mechanical ventilation in the report or not um, as well as a cover page. Now uh, you would then click preview and uh, the preview would come up as a front page and you've got three pages, one page per story and there's the initial test um, where you have your glazing um, and your internal area and the ratio between that if it's less than 15% 
then you don't have to perform the calculations. If, uh, if it exceeds that, yes, then you have to do it. Right, looking at the first uh, one, here is your um, allowable conductance and solar heat gain. And uh, these at the bottom is what you currently have um, in your fenestration elements. Um, the conductance is, is less than that, so it complies, and the solar heat gain is less than um, the allowable, so you comply in the natural environmental control. So you would uh, also look at the mechanical, um, if it's included uh, at the top here. Right, um, and this is per facade, so um, the bottom values here is your mechanical allowance aggregate uh, and uh, um, and so and uh, the glazing that you have on that facade that's the aggregate uh, energy value and uh, again if that's lower than the um, allowable it's com then it's compliant same in this case here at the bottom this one exceeds the, uh, the allowable so that's non-compliant and that um, creates uh, a non-compliant mechanical report so if any one of these fail then uh, the whole um, mechanical ventilation is uh, non-compliant. Right, um, if this happens you obviously need to go back to your your uh, fenestrations and perhaps change the glazing or the overhangs um, or shade it, uh, creating a, a shading device to shade the, the, um, the, the fenestration element. Right, and then you can look back at the report and see what changes has happened. Right, at this stage this is the, the brief overview um, I'm going to stop there uh, and uh, before I do that you can also export your project um, as in PDF, Excel or TIFF file and add it to your submission documents. Right, thank you for the time and um, in the next movie we'll actually show how to work and create a new project.